All right, I'm going to be talking today about how to put on a bench shirt and use a bench shirt, take it off all by yourself. And uh, first, I want to tell everybody just up front that this is going to be more dangerous than having a pair of confident spotters that can help you out in the gym. So uh, any advice that you follow here is going to be at your own risk. First, I'm going to be going over how to prep this stuff and the equipment that I've got here. I've got my pair of shirt slippers. I got a katana. And to prep it, this is how you need to roll the shirt. You need to grab it by the bottom, pull this bottom fold all the way up to the armpit. Get this in. Alright, so yeah, pull the bottom fold all the way up to the armpit. So it looks about like that. Now you just grab it what's now the bottom and just keep rolling that up in smaller rolls until you get all the way up to the armpit. And when you're done, you see there's the seam of the, of the sleeves. Now when you're done, you should still have this nice little flap here sticking up. And this is the bottom seam of the shirt. And that's going to be what helps you unroll the shirt after you get it on. Okay, so now I've got the shirt slippers on. I'm going to grab it around the left, the left sleeve here. Stick my left arm in here. And I'm going to line it up how, how I want the sleeve lined. So with a katana, I usually line this uh, seam where it meets this chest plate right off the inside bone of my elbow. And just pull that on as far as you can get it. Don't be afraid to grab the bottom and slide it up as far as you can. Get it up over the elbow. This is a looser shirt, so it's be a little bit easier for me to do, but I have done this with some pretty tight shirts before. So when that gets up about as far as it's going to go, you're just going to turn it inside out just a little bit as you work on the other sleeve. You do that just the same way. Set that sleeve just where you want it. Same thing. Pull and wiggle it on. And now, now that you've got both sleeves, or you're working both sleeves on, you can use the shirt against itself. As you, as you pull both arms on. So now I've got the sleeves almost all the way on and I've got, I've got the collar pretty high up in my neck. So now I duck underneath it like that, give it a wiggle so you can see in the back where it's at. Now I'm going to grab this flap that we left out earlier and we'll pull that down. It takes a little bit to get it all the way down, but you can see it all unrolled. And now, just keep wiggling it on. If you, if you really need to, you, if you take a bench with the shirt slipper still on, it'll slide up the arms a little bit more. But I usually don't need to do that. So now the shirt slippers come off. Now we're ready to go get the belt on. Okay, now we're ready to get the belt on. This is probably only going to work if you have a lever belt, just because as you can see it's hard to put your arms down. So you're going to use the power rack as, as kind of an aid. Just want to swing around there. Like a bear spring. Belt on. And put that. Make sure it's adjusted right. Should be all set. You can clamp the belt down yourself. And if you need to jack the shirt, clamp the belt down first. And then you can pull the collar down, suck the gut in a little bit, pull the rest of the slack out, belly out, and you're set. And then just unflip, unflip the belt, and you're good to go between sets. So next, I'll. Uh, go over some different techniques as far as getting the bar off by yourself if you're in that sort of situation. Alright, so I'm going to talk about being able to lift off by yourself and some techniques that you can do to improve your ability to do that. Uh, but first, if you're going to be benching at all by yourself, especially if you're going to be using a shirt, you need to have, if you're going to, if you're going to do it, you should do it in the power rack. You should have the safety pins set so that 
if you get in trouble, you can untuck your arch and just set the bar on the pins and it's not going to crush your chest. It's very, very important. In a men's shirt, things can happen really fast. It can either fall toward your feet, you can lose it toward your face, the shirt can blow out, anything can happen. So just do that. It's a simple step and it could really save you from some expensive dental work. So as far as some techniques to make lifting off to yourself a little easier, make sure that you set up well underneath the bar because the closer you are to being able to push the bar off the hooks in a straight line, the easier it's going to be. And then also you'll see uh, when I'm, what I've been doing lately especially is when I'm lifting off to myself, uh, I get a tight arch and my butt is off the bench uh, for the lift off and that seems to help quite a bit. Uh, the thing you got to remember there is to really squeeze the shoulder blades hard. Again, it's not, I wouldn't say it's ideal, but if this is all you've got, that's all you've got. So, take it for what it is. Alright, so, you set the shirt. First, close the belt. Pull the slack out. That's all I need for this rep. So now we're all done with the workout, so it's time to get off the shirt off. So unbuckle the belt, drop that, and just grab the bottom of the shirt. And just start to wiggle it up. Oh, I forgot something. You need to set a, a safety pin or a J hook or something that's about chest height. Uh, you can use a bar, uh, whatever you need, it just needs to be anchored down solid. So then you take your belt off, grab the bottom of the shirt start to wiggle it up. When you get that pulled up as high as, high as you can, you just hook the shirt, hook the shirt on the on whatever hook you've got, and squat down. Just keep working the shirt up. Pull it off over your head like that. Pull it off. And that's it.